Okay, everyone. Uh, since Super Mega Forces Day, since Power Rangers Super Mega Forces Day viewing on February 15th, I just figured I'd give a small little preview about my thoughts on it. About what I think about what Super Mega Force could be. Um, I actually enjoyed Mega Force itself, so I am looking forward to Super Mega Force to see what they do. But primarily, I want to give a discussion of my thoughts about the Rangers that are returning for Super Mega Force for tribute episodes, and I'm guessing one big team up, which I'm guessing is going to take the majority of this season up since there's like 13 returning Rangers and 20 episodes. So you have seven that have nothing to do with any of them. Okay, let's start off with the return of Jason David Frank as Tommy Oliver. It's always going to be nice to see Tommy in Ranger form, no matter what you're talking about. Um, I, he's playing both the Green and White Ranger, though. I really want to know how they're going to explain these. Because the Green Ranger powers were destroyed. Granted, an evil Green Ranger with a power coin was made, but he was left with the powers in the year in Angel Grove in about 1774 in the show. So I don't. So unless Tommy has access to a time machine, I don't want to get that those powers back. And the White Ranger power was destroyed when the command center was destroyed with the rest of the power coins because it was a White Ninja coin. Uh, so the White Tiger is part of the Tiger Zord, which I'm guessing wasn't destroyed, because we know from always a chance that the Mastodon Power Coin and the Tyrannosaurus Power Coin still works from Forever Red. So, which I will get to when I get to Wild Force. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit when I get to my Wild Force review from my Power Rangers review series. So, because uh, I'm only on Time Force right now, but I am through disc one of it, so I've seen the first eight episodes. But Tommy's always nice. Moving on to the In Space alums. Technically, there's three In Space alums, but one counts as Lost Galaxy. Uh, Selen Ward is TJ, and uh, Patricia Lee is Cassie, the blue and pink Space Rangers. Uh, In Space was a very good up, very good season, and I actually always liked TJ. I think him being a Red Ranger is actually one of the highlights of Turbo, which is a very bad season, but is a highlight of Turbo. Uh, so it'll be nice to see him again. So I think we nice to see Cassie. Although I don't think she was the best Red Ranger around, I do think that she made she, her character was more developed than In Space, and it wasn't Turbo. Because, again, these standalone seasons are better, in my opinion, because you can develop the uh, Rangers more. You can develop the Rangers more. You can give them more distinctive characteristics and work on developing them to make them more memorable. Uh, which is a problem that Rocky seriously suffers from in Season 2 and Season 3 of MMP Arc, because they, bought, they waited until Zeo to actually give him any kind of development. So it's going to be nice to see those two back. Moving on to uh, Lost Galaxy. Danny Slavin is Leo, the Red Galaxy Ranger, which most people probably think is a surprise given the problems he had with Savon over the Lost Galaxy Lights Be Rescue team up, which I will get to in my Lights Be Rescue review, which will be uploaded probably on Saturday. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the missteps that they did there, uh, which led to this. But you also then have Damon, Re played by Reggie Rollet, and Melody Perkins as Corone. Now, Cur so the pink. Ranger. My only problem with this is how are they going to explain how Caron got the pink Quasar Saber back if she never originally pulled it? Kendricks did. Um, now, you don't have to explain the Galaxy powers nor the, nor the Space powers. The Space Rangers never lost their powers. Nor did, but I would argue that their Morphers probably got destroyed and the Astro Mega Ship got destroyed. Unless they just kept them after the team up, which I'm going to go with, since Andrew still has his and Forever Red, so I'm guessing they all just kept the Morphers after the Astro Mega Ship was destroyed, and they didn't keep them in the Astro Mega Ship. Or Andros has them on KO-4035 and just gave them back to TJ and Cassie. But again, you don't have to explain the Galaxy Powers are from the Quasar Sabers. I just want to know how they're going to explain how Corona even has can pull his Quasar Saber out originally since she didn't pull it. I'm guessing because the Quasar Saber shows her after Kendrick's died, I'm guessing, but... Moving on to the Lightspeed Rescue alums. Sean C.W. Johnson is Carter Grayson, and Allison McManus is Dana Mitchell. Uh, 
Carter, I loved as a Red Ranger, and I'll talk to that in my Lights Rescue review. I actually thought Lights Rescue was a very good season. I'll get that in my review. I, in fact, and I'll mention in my review of it, it's my it's actually my favorite Power Ranger season of the year. I've watched actually is Lightspeed Rescue, with the exception of the villains. And I do think that they are, but again, I'll get that in my review of that. But I loved Carter as a as a Red Ranger. I think he's one of the best we've had as a Red Ranger personally. That's my opinion. But I'll get to that in my review. And I like Dana's character too. I really like Dana, so I'm gonna look. So I'm looking forward to seeing these two back for Super Mega Force. Uh, moving on to Time Force and Jason Font as Wes. Uh, I'm not through Time Force, but from what I've seen of Wes, I like him. So, it's going to be nice to see him back. And again, it's the powers you don't have to explain. You don't have to explain the time pow time light speed Rescue powers. You know, Lightspeed Rescue never lost their powers. Now, Wet Fisher, the Time Ranger, was supposed to be back, but he was uninvited due to budget reasons. Uh, look, I know Savani can be cheap, but let's be honest. He Nick does not have the budget to give him that uh, Disney does. Okay, and Disney, even though they had a big budget, hardly ever used it anyway. So, uh, so, so I'm liking Wes's character right now, but again, I've only seen eight episodes of Time Force. So, uh, even the filler zone of the episodes are actually good. So that's a plus for the season, but again, I've only seen eight episodes, but I do look forward to seeing Wes back. And again, you know, you only have to explain the power because. Why he still has it? Because Time Force is based on their chronomorphers or DNA locked. Okay, and then we have the Samurai Rangers. Jaden, Mike, and Emily. I have not seen Samurai, so I can't really give an opinion on the Samurai Rangers because I haven't seen Samurai. Uh... I have a problem with them being called Legends, though, because they're not really. They're from the past two series, which technically is just one divided into two seasons, which is really annoying that Nick's making Saban do that. Because um, they have the same cast. They're not even standalone, so you can't even make it a standalone. So, all in all, I think Super Mega Force has, the, has potential, but given that Saban and Nick are renewed for 2015, for 2016, if Super Mega Force does not do as good as it could do, where's Power Rangers going to be come 2016? I know what the sen I, I mean, and I know that Saban is the next Sentai pick out that they're adapting anyway. I believe it's uh, G uh, Go Ranger or whatever, something like that. I don't know all the Sentais off the top of my head, so yeah. So all in all, I do look forward to Super Mega Force. Uh, I don't know why they're moving it from to, from 1 to 12. I guess they want to add another hour of Spongebob. I guess they want to add another hour of Spongebob to its schedule. Uh, but, yeah. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Like I said, my Lightspeed Rescue review will be uploaded probably on Saturday. With some help, actually. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, hit the like. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Bye.